Hello, Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to your weekly reading for May the 8th through the 15th, or whenever you are drawn to this. This week I'm only doing the four elements. Um, if you need something more in depth and you didn't see your monthly reading, please go check that out. All right, so let's go ahead and pick an overall message with the mystical wisdom. And then we're going to take a look into the tarot and close it off with some more oracles for you. Okay, I am recording this on the full moon of May the 5th. I'm curious how you are feeling the energy of the full moon. I know personally I am feeling it physically in my body, so I'm just curious and I'm asking everyone to let me know down in the comments. All right, legends. Beautiful, very earth. I do see, get a bit of fire with this uh, salamander. So you could be dealing with a Sag. Okay. Sag or Aries. Okay. Um, learn from those who inspire you. Okay. So I do kind of get an energy of collaboration with this card just how they're all kind of coming together um like a meeting of the minds okay maybe you're running into someone who's a little bit different than you okay whatever that means for you let's move on i'm going to pick an earthcraft these two decks really seem to be playing very nice with each other. So all these decks will be listed in the description down below if you are interested, as well as any other information you may need. And if you can't find it there, then just drop me a question. Okay. This is just a general reading. We're just going to see what comes out and clarify as we go. We will also be pulling advice from spirit as well. So what do we have for our earth signs, please? Too many. Being told to take the one on top. Spirit of the South. Ooh, very fiery. Hot, creative, wow, okay, very strong creative energy as well. So we're going to go ahead and look at the past energies. Show me the past energies for our earth signs. Earth and fire make clay be working with your hands a lot. Building a legacy. Okay, the high priestess. What do I get a secret energy from this? Let's keep going though. Too early to tell. Working in secret or the project is a secret, a Taurus. Okay, King of Pentacles. Yeah, I see you working. Could be guided. You're taking your inspiration directly from spirit. Which is kind of the energy I was getting with this is like a collaboration. The High Priestess. Let's dive deeper into this, please, Sultane. Show me the High Priestess. Okay. 
I'm being told to take this one and this one. Okay, so you got the moon and the eight of swords. A bit of fear. Okay. You don't want you don't want this project to be seen by others yet. Um hmm. Why? Could be doing this at night. Okay. Also the full moon is a is of significance. Okay, so perhaps spirit has told you to keep this on the down low. Only you will know why this is a secret. All right. Uh the king of pentacles. And I am getting a work energy from this, so this one, okay. The magician and the devil, ooh. Why does that not feel good? Okay. You're keeping it secret because you don't want any naysayers to ruin your energy of manifesting. Okay. I hope that makes sense. We're going to move forward. Okay. And we're going to get the current energies. Current energies for our Earth signs, please. Temperance. Again, very fiery energy, very creative energy. Healing, blending. You're blending, you're balancing it. Okay, show me a little bit more, please. About current energies for our earth signs. Feeling like a three of pentacles energy. Oh, we got the queen of wands. So we, I'm being told to get one more. Okay. Again, confidence. Whatever this is, you do have confidence in this project or in this endeavor. Um, hmm. you have a strong passion for it. Can we get one more, please. Okay. The nine of swords with the queen of pentacles. I do feel like this is causing you a bit of anxiety, a bit of insomnia, because you're putting so much hope and dedication into this. I do feel like you are building a legacy. Legends. Okay. I do feel like you are building a legacy and Spirit is saying that this is divinely guided and protected. So uh, on the bottom you had the five of swords. Yeah, you're defending this, whatever this is. That's why it's in secret. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify temperance. Okay, all right, and when you got the emperor, empress, and the king of wands, yeah, ooh, king of wands, the queen of wands. 
I do just feel like um, you're overcoming a lot of your fears um, and you're doing it anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, you're nurturing this project, whatever this is. So we're going to go ahead and, and, and get one on the uh, Nine of Swords. Why are you... Okay, the Ten of Wands. So it's a lot. It is a bit of a burden, but I, I do feel it is one that you believe strongly in. Okay, so it is causing you some worry. Let's go ahead and look at the Queen of Pentacles. You're going to know how this pertains to you. If it doesn't, go check out your other elements. And as always, the monthly readings are up as well. All right, the Queen of Pentacles. I get this as you. I wanted to call you Virgo. Okay, but... Um, so you could be dealing with a Virgo or have Virgo placements. Okay, the Ace of Cups. You're, you're putting yourself first. Um, I think that... You know that this is something that you are being drawn to do. Other people may not like it, uh, but you are putting you first. I feel like this is also using all the tools and knowledge that you have to put into this project. Okay, we're going to pull advice because I really feel like this needs some advice from the soul team, please. What is the advice for our earth sons in this situation? I'm getting the words relax. Okay, relax. Ah, oh, breathe. Okay. Okay. Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Six of Wands. Hold on to your focus. Hold on to your focus. Okay. So if you continue to focus, a lot of these fears will fade away. Keep, keep an eye on the goal and you will be seen. Okay. Yes. Rise above. Okay. Let's look at the four of coins. Why is the Four of Coins here? Holding on. You're not letting this go. Okay. Oh, you're being resourceful. Spirit's saying be resourceful. Okay. That you have enough. Enough wisdom, enough know-how, enough um, finances for this endeavor. Okay, you got the Queen of Coins with the Eight of Cups. Yeah, nurture this. Nurture this. <laughs> Spirit just said... Enjoy the journey. Enjoy it. Enjoy each step of this process. Okay, very nice. Let's look at the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords, okay. The Nine of Swords. Hmm. 
Okay, by keeping your focus, again, I'm being brought back to focus on the goal. This is going to help alleviate some of these fears and anxieties, okay? Um, let's look at the Six of Wands. Six of Wands. Oh, Nine of Wands. You're being seen. Okay. So even though right now you're trying to blend in and do this kind of behind the scenes type of thing, that this will lead to victory and recognition. Okay, that's what I'm getting on this. So let's go ahead and look at the probable outcome if you follow this advice, which is just have confidence, basically. Confidence, focus, and enjoy the journey. Okay, gratitude I'm getting to. Let's move forward. Probable outcome. For our earth signs, if they follow this advice, I say probable because free will is ever changing. So nothing is set in stone. The world, I like that. It's a brand new cycle. Could be travel in your future. Okay. Show me more, please, whole team. This one. And the tower. So this is a shift. This, this victory is going to shift your world into a new cycle. Mm. Okay, let's clarify. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. This is like a... Ooh, the seven of wands. Yeah, feel, be, be confident in this. That justice will be coming in. Um, let's look at the tower. And the fool. Yes, this is a new beginning. Wow. This is beautiful. Now we're going to pick a message from the light. Then we'll pick a color message to close off this reading for our earth signs, please, soul team. being told to take this journey wow okay um who just got that one the water signs i believe just got that one as well this is a protected journey this is a protected endeavor this is leading you um down a divine path is what i'm being told let's go ahead and draw a color message and I'll be reading that out of the little booklet. These are colors that you can incorporate into your life through what you wear, eat or drink. Although they do have some health um, messages, I am not a health expert, so I do advise you to use your self-discernment on that. Okay, Scarlet. Attract success. Ooh, doesn't that go in with this spirit of the South, this fiery energy I was feeling? All right, I'm going to read this out of the booklet. Number seven, two is a very divine number. Scarlet. Okay. Scarlet is a color of passion, success, and vitality. 
that is known for its power, strength, and dynamism. It stands out and demands to be noticed. A color of victory, scarlet allows you to confidently achieve your dreams. Realize your dreams with the power of scarlet. Very nice reading for you, Earth Signs. I wish you many blessings and good luck this week. Come back next week for another reading. Okay, bye-bye.